Okay, so this is just a short little video on the parts of a transverse wave. So, tra and transverse waves, as we know, are the waves that go in the opposite direction of propagation or perpendicular to propagation. In other words, the wave is moving in that direction, but the displacement is in the up and down direction. So if you could consider this a string, then displacement is up and down as this displacement moves down the wave this way. So parts of a transverse wave, the points that stick up are the crests, the parts that go down, are the troughs, think of animals eating out of a trough, the points that cross our midline are called nodes. Okay, so right here we see two crests, there's a crest and there's a crest. We see one trough, Actually, if we extend our wave a little bit, there's a node there, a node there, a node there, and a node there. Okay. And the other thing we need to draw is the amplitude. So this distance is the amplitude. Okay, which if my wave was drawn correctly, this should be the amplitude. And this is the amplitude. And they should all be equal. And that is a distance that we can measure in meters. The other quantity we want to talk about is the wavelength. And let me see if I can find a contrasting color for that. Here we go, teacher's handy red pen. So the wavelength is another quantity that we can actually measure in meters and the wavelength is basically the length of one wave. So from there to there that distance is the wavelength. Okay and we can measure it from the node up to the crest down to the trough and back to the node or we could have started measuring at this node and gone down and up and down and those should all be equal. We can also measure the wavelength from crest to crest or trough to trough. Okay, But it contains a whole wave up and down and we could actually take a ruler and measure that. So amplitude and wavelength are measured in meters. So that's just a quick basics on the parts of a transverse wave. Thank you.